Hello. Yes. Tommy Robinson is leading you all down a blind alley. That's right. But first of all, ask yourself this. What does Tommy Robinson stand for? What, cam what issues is he campaigning on? Is he campaigning to raise the minimum wage? No. Save the NHS? Save the green belt? No. Stop immigration? Get young people back on the housing market? Better conditions in the workplace? Raise the standard of living? And many, many other issues? Is he campaigning on those issues? Well, the answer is no. This is what he's done, and I'll tell you why. He's declared war on Islam. He's attacking Muslim grooming gangs that are raping underage white girls in and around Britain. But you've got to ask yourself this as well. What percentage of girls in this country are being groomed and raped by Muslim paedophile gangs? It's not. It's, it's probably 0.1%. If it's even that. If it's even that. And most of those, most of them, if not all, are waifs and strays, social service cases that... There's nothing we can do about them as bad as it is and it needs prosecuting. They need prosecuting. Of course they do and they need putting in jail. But it's not an issue that if it's not dealt with very soon, Britain's going to come to a standstill, is it? Well, exactly no. And it's the same with female genital mutilation outside of the Muslim community. Who is that going to happen to? Well, exactly. And even within the Muslim community, that's pro probably not even 0.1%. So he's pushing these issues for a reason. He's declared war on Islam. And the public will reject that. A war with Islam, we will lose, like Nigel Farage has said. You will be rejected at the polls, and that's why he's doing it. He's associating the anti-immigrants, anti-Islamic... Uh, cause with violence, confrontation and going to jail. That's what he's doing, right? You see, that's why he's not campaigning on other issues. It's like as if he's this knight, you know, uh, in shining armour on his horse, riding into battle, trying to save Britain from Islam and immediate Islamification and Sharia law and nothing could be further from the truth, right? Tommy Robinson works with the security services and his two criminal proxies, hope not hate, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Sailor Magazine, and maybe other Zionist entities like Ezra Levin that runs Rebel Media he works for, right? But he's not the genuine article, he's not the genuine deal. Now, he's pushing this war with Islam because the state needs white extremists to balance out uh, the Muslim extremists when they plant bombs. They're just, oh, look, you've got the white extremists. You've got the Muslim extremists. They need him for that. But there's another purpose as well, right? The Tommy Robinson Road Show and the Tommy Robinson Public Relations campaign is swinging into high gear now because they're preparing him for when he enters UKIP. He wants to enter UKIP, right, as this saviour of Britain, persecuted, jailed, tried to murder him, the whole lot. He wants to enter as some persecuted patriot trying to save Britain with all the UKIP members in all with the mouths open. So, so, he can then eventually, when all the angry heads join and outvote all the good, decent people in UKIP as soon as they, assume they don't leave straight away, Jared Batten out the way. I'm now the new leader. They are jockeying him for this. And you, Nick Griffin, praising, or should I say, wishing him well at his trial. You know he works for our enemies. And the trial's all been a big setup so he could get sympathy and be this poor persecuted soul. He knew he'd be arrested if he went back filming outside the court. So he knew exactly what he was doing and he knew the consequences of that. And, and, and that's what he wanted. So it looks like he's persecuted because they're preparing him for UKIP. For when he goes in there and he outseats Jared Ban out the way and then he's UKIP leader because they've got to bring UKIP down. UKIP must be neutralised and they're going to do it via Tommy Robinson. Okay, thank you.